I was Go ahead and let your eyes close or rest on the ground in front of you. Let your hands rest in your lap, either on your knees or on your thighs. And then rock your torso back and forth. So maybe you grip onto your knees a little bit and to feel your body weight rolling over your sit bones. And then maybe even rock a little bit side to side. And then come back to that center point. And think about growing your spine up to the ceiling, letting your shoulders relax. Lifting out of the crown of your head, letting your fingers relax. Letting your jaw release, letting your elbows get heavy. Slow your breath down. Breathe in and breathe out. Take a few breaths here. Letting yourself come into stillness. On your next breath, go ahead and reach your arms straight out at shoulder height. Rotate your palms up to the ceiling, feeling that movement coming from your shoulder socket. And then bring the arms straight up overhead. Rotate your palms outwards, press the air back down. Rotate from your shoulders so your palms face up. And now tilt down to the right, keeping your arms on this long diagonal, stretching away from the center of your body. Breathing here. Go ahead and bend your right arm and bring your left arm up and over your ear Stretching out further, big stretch through the left side of your body, and then float back up to center. Rotate your palms up to the ceiling, draw your arms together up by your ears, breathe in. Exhale, press the air away from you back into arms at shoulder height. Rotate your arms, palms up, and this time tilt to the left, keeping your arms in a straight line and this diagonal. Reach your fingertips away from each other. Feel a stretch across your chest, across your collarbone. Lift your chin up just so slightly. And now place your left hand down, let your left elbow bend and bring your right arm up by your ear. Extending your right arm overhead. Breathe here. And stretch. Come back up, arms straight out to either side. Bend your arms into 90 degrees. Exhale, round your back like you're coming into cat spine. And then inhale, open up across your chest. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Reach your arms back up. We're going to take our right hand. We're going to bring it around our back placing our right hand on our left hip, and then bring your left hand down to hold your right hand. And then drop your left ear over to your left shoulder, stretching through the right side of your neck. Maybe you interlace your fingers and squeeze the knuckles of each hand, 
giving them a little bit of a massage. And now release both arms back up to the ceiling. Bring your left arm down, bring it all the way around so your left hand is on your right waist. Bring your right hand down, press your palms together and drop your right ear over towards your right shoulder. Interlace the fingers, maybe the other thumb on top and then squeeze and wiggle the knuckles. Release your arms back up. Let your hands come down in front of you and gently walk your fingers out in front of you. Let your elbows get heavy. Let your head come down to the mat. Take a moment here to feel a big stretch across your back into your hips. And then from here, continue to make your way into your tabletop position, lining your hands up underneath your shoulders and your knees up underneath your hips. Spread your fingers nice and wide, point your finger pointing forward and the rest of your fingers splayed out evenly on the mat. Gaze straight down, think about lifting your belly button up to your spine so that your back is parallel to the floor. Your knees are underneath your hips and your feet are straight behind you. Drop your belly, open your heart, big inhale. Exhale round. Inhale forward. Exhale round. Inhale forward. Exhale round. Go ahead and reach your right foot back behind you, rocking back and forth over your right toes. Float your left arm forward, lift up your arm and your leg if you choose, and then exhale, draw your knee and elbow to meet. Inhale, extend, exhale, together. Inhale, extend, exhale, together. Plant your left hand, but extend your right leg back out behind you. Now draw your right leg over to the left, press your toes into the mat, reach your heel away from you, and then look over your left shoulder at your left toes. So you're making a curve shape with your body. And now draw the left foot back all the way out and around to the right, sorry, the right foot back all the way around out to the right side. Press into the outer edge of your right foot and then lift yourself up. Reach your arms out to either side and then drop your right hand down to your right leg and lift your left arm up and over. And then bring your left hand down, right arm up to the sky. We're gonna sway back and forth. So right arm, left arm, left arm, right arm. Two more times. If you have a block or something underneath your left hand or maybe you don't come all the way down, that's fine too. Last one. And now make your way back into your tabletop position. Turn your fingers to either the side of the mat or back towards your knees, and then rock back and forth. Let those fingers turn back around, reach your left leg behind you, and rock back and forth over the left leg. Reach your right fingertips forward, lift your left arm, right leg, get nice and long. And then exhale, knee and elbow meet. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee and elbow meet. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee and elbow meet. Inhale, lengthen. One more. And then return the right hand, lower your left toes. Draw your left toes over to the right as far as they can go. Press your right toes into the mat, reach your heel away from you, 
And then look over your right shoulder to see if you can see that right foot. Bring the right left foot, sorry, all the way out to the left, pressing into the outer edge of the left foot and then reach yourself up, reach your arms out to the side, bring your left hand down to the left leg, right arm up and over. And now flow the right arm down to the floor or a block, left arm up and over. Engaging your inner thighs, your core, flowing side to side. One more time. And come back up, bring your hands down in front of you, bring your left knee back underneath you and make some circles or figure eights, moving your hips around. And now switch directions. And then slide your hands forward, curl your toes under and peel yourself up into your downward facing dog. Let your heels get heavy. Think about rotating your upper arm bones forward and reach your head back so your ears are in between your biceps. Peel your heels up, lifting them away from the mat and then bend your knees coming into a crouching position. Then straighten your legs and now drop your heels down, letting them get heavy. Do that again, lift your heels up, deeply bend your knees, pressing the mat away from you, reaching your hips back towards your heels and then straighten your legs and lower your heels down. One more time, lift your heels. Bend your knees, lift your hips, lower your heels. Float your right leg up behind you and then step the right foot all the way forward between your hands. Lower the left knee down, untuck your toes, reach your arms out and up. We're gonna hold here for a breath, reaching your arms straight up, lengthening your spine, pressing down into your right foot and your left shin. Open your arms into a T, inhale, exhale, twist to the right. Maybe you can gaze over your right shoulder if you don't get too wobbly. Twist back to the front. Reach your arms up and then bring them back down to the mat. Curl your left toes, step back into downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Float your left leg up behind you. Step your left foot all the way forward. Lower your right knee down, untuck your toes. Reach your arms out and up. Think about pressing your right shin into the mat, pressing your left foot into the mat, squaring your hips to the front of your mat. Arms are straight up. And now open your arms into a T. Breathe here. And now twist to the left. Look over at your left thumb if the, woo, you don't get too wobbly like that. Come back to center, reach your arms up and then bring your hands down, step back to downward facing dog. Put your right leg up again, bend your right knee, step it all the way forward. Lower your left knee down, untuck your toes, reach your arms up. This time we're gonna sink our hips forward and back, forward, and back, finding any space, stretching. And now this time, let them stay sunken forward. You're bending your front knee 
And now open your arms to a T. Breathe here. Twist to the right. And maybe bring your left hand down as you reach your right arm up to the ceiling. Twisting through your torso, through your waist, stretching through your hips. Bring your right hand down, curl your left toes, step back to downward facing dog. And breathe, float your left leg up behind you. Step your left foot all the way forward, lower your right knee down, untuck your toes. Reach your arms out and up. Once you're aligned, sink your hips forward and press them back. Sink forward and press back. Nice, one more time. And this time, keep your hips forward. Open your arms into a T. Breathe in, twist to the left. And then bring your right hand down, left arm up. Bring your left hand down to the mat, curl your toes, step back into downward facing dog. Reaching your hips up and back. Letting your heels get heavy. Put your right leg up behind you. Step your right foot forward. Maybe this time you keep your knee lifted. Reach your arms up. Stay here. Find your balance. Reach your left heel back behind you. Ground down through your right heel, your right big toe, and your right pinky toe. Level off your hips. Open your arms into a T. Twist to the right. Bring both arms back up overhead and then float your hands down to the mat. Step back to downward facing dog. Put your left leg up behind you. Step your left foot all the way forward. Reach your arms out and up. Feel your right heel pull back, lengthening through the front of your right leg. Square your hips. Drop your left hip ever so slightly. And then ground down through your left heel and toes. Open your arms into a T and twist to the left. Cartwheel your hands down. Step back to downward facing dog. Put your right leg up behind you. Step your right foot forward. Reach your arms out and up. Breathe here, bend a little bit deeper. Open your arms, twist to the right. Cartwheel just your left hand down, reaching your right arm up. Coming into this twist, gaze up at your right fingertips if that's available. Drop your right hip down. And then bring your right hand down to the mat. Lower your left knee, shift your hips back, flexing your right toes, stretching behind your right leg. Rock forward and back. Rock forward and back. One more time, forward and back. Next time your front foot is down, lift your back knee, step back to downward facing dog. Breathe here. Put your left leg up behind you, step your left foot all the way forward. Reach your arms out and up. Square your hips. Open your arms into a T, twist to the left. Gaze back at your left fingertips. And then bring your right hand down, reaching your left arm up to the ceiling. Drop your left hip, twist from your torso, gaze up at your left fingertips. Bring your left hand down to the mat, lower your right knee, and then extend your left leg. Rock forward 
and back. Bending the front leg, straightening the front leg. Bending and straightening. And now bend the front leg, lift the right knee off, step back to downward facing dog and breathe. Make any adjustments that you need to. Make sure your feet are hip distance apart. Roll forward one vertebra at a time, coming into a high plank position. Stop when your shoulders are over your wrists. And if you need to, walk your feet back a little bit more so that your shoulders, your hips, and your ankles are all in one line. Feel free to drop down to your knees at any time Take another breath here. And now lifting from your lower belly, lift your hips back up into your downward facing dog. Put your right leg back behind you, flexing your foot like you're pressing it into the wall, keeping your hips even. Lower your right leg down. Lift your left leg straight back behind you, flexing your left foot like you're pressing your left foot into the wall. Lower the left leg down. Roll forward one vertebra at a time, coming back into your high plank position. Hold here. One more breath, and then lift back up into your downward facing dog. Float your right leg up behind you as high as it goes this time. Bend your right knee, turn and open your hip, reaching your knee up to the ceiling. Extend the right leg back and lower the right leg down to the mat. Float your left leg up behind you. Bend your left knee, open your hip. Pointing the left knee up to the ceiling. Re-extend the left leg back up behind you. Come back to downward facing dog. Pull forward back into your high plank. Lower your knees. Hug your elbows in. Lower your chest and chin all the way down. Slide your hands out to 10 and 2. If possible, come up onto your fingertips and then draw your chest up. Exhale, roll back down. Do that two more times, rolling up. Exhaling down, one more. Rolling up. Exhale down. Bring your hands back underneath your shoulders. Coming up through tabletop, curl your toes back into downward facing dog. Breathe here. Gaze forward at your hands and slowly walk your feet all the way up until they're in line with your fingertips. Let your head hang heavy. Bend your knees, make sure they're not locked out. And then gently sway your hips side to side. Grounding down through your feet, slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Coming all the way up to stand. Once you're all the way up, roll your shoulders back. three times, and then roll them forward three times. Nice. All right. Sun salutations. Inhale, bring your arms all the way up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine, flatten your back. Exhale, plant your hands, slide your right leg back. You're in a low lunge. Take a breath here. Slide your left leg back. You're in high plank. Lower all the way down to the mat. Untuck your toes. Lift your heart, baby cobra. Exhale down. Press yourself back up. 
into downward facing dog. Float your right leg up behind you. Step your right foot all the way forward. Step your left foot up to meet it. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. And then exhale, right back down again. Inhale, lengthen, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands. Step your left leg back. Plant. Slide your right leg back to meet it. Lower all the way down to your stomach. Untuck your toes, lift your chest, baby cobra. Exhale through tabletop or straight up and we'll meet in downward facing dog. Float your left leg up behind you. Step your left foot forward. Step your right foot up to meet it. Inhale, flat back. Exhale. Come all the way up to stand. Let your arms come down by your side. Take a breath. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands. Step your right foot back. Step your left foot back. Lower your knees. Untuck your toes. Hug your elbows in. Lower down chest and chin. Inhale up, baby cobra. Exhale back into downward facing dog. Breathe. Put your right leg up behind you. Step your right foot all the way forward. Step your left foot to meet it. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, all the way up to stand. Squeeze your legs. Exhale, right back down again. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands. Step your left leg back. Slide your right leg back to meet it in plank. Lower your knees, hug your elbows in, lower chest and chin, untuck your toes, reach your elbows back towards your hips, coming into baby cobra. And then exhale into downward facing dog. Breathe. Float your left leg up behind you. Step your left foot all the way forward. Step your right foot to meet it. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Palms touch. Exhale, your hands down by your side. Take a breath. Inhale, your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step your right leg back, step your left leg back, high plank. Engage your thighs, engage your glutes, either go knees, chest, chin, or all the way down, or if you're ready, lower halfway down, untuck your toes, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog, and breathe. Let your heels get heavy. Feel the stretch and lengthening through the back of your legs. Float your right leg up behind you. Step your right foot all the way forward. Step your left foot up to meet it. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, all the way up to stand. And then exhale, right back down again. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands. Slide your left foot back. Slide your right foot back to high plank. Engage your legs. Connect your toes to the mat. Spread your fingers. Lower halfway down chaturanga. Untuck your toes, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog and breathe. You can take any vinyasa option that feels right for you. You do not have to do what I am doing. Put your left leg up behind you. Step your left foot all the way forward. Step your right foot up to meet it. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, all the way up to stand. And then exhale your hands down by your side. Hmm. Take a breath. 
and breathe. We're gonna do a couple of sun bees tonight. So sit back into chair pose. If your feet are together, your knees are together. If your feet are apart, your knees are apart. Sit your hips back a little bit lower. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hand, step your right foot back. Drop your right heel down, lift on up, warrior one. Exhale, back down. Step back to plank. Go through your version of your vinyasa. Downward facing dog. Put your left leg up behind you. Step your left foot forward. Lower your right heel down. Lift back up to warrior one again. Float your hands down. Step forward into chair. Reach your arms out and up. Breathe here. Stand on up. Bring your arms down by your side. I know that one creates a little bit of heat. Let's do the other side. Sit back into chair pose. Feet together, knees together, feet apart, knees apart. Sit a little bit deeper. Hinge forward. Inhale, flat back. Plant your hands, step your left leg back. Drop your left heel, reach your arms up, warrior one. Bring your hands down, step back to plank. Your version of your vinyasa. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. And breathe. Float your right leg up behind you. Step your right foot forward, drop your left heel. Reach your arms up, warrior one. Bring your hands down, step your foot forward. Sit back into chair. Stand all the way up. Beautiful. All right, let's do a little bit of balancing before we build our flow. So if you need to go to the wall or grab something around you, go ahead and do that. So we're gonna shift our weight into our left leg. We're gonna start to peel our right heel up. Find your balance. Put your right knee up. And then today we're gonna to turn our right knee out and place our ankle above our left knee and then sit down into a figure four. Drop your right hip a little bit more. Maybe you can reach your arms out in front of you. Bring your hands back to heart center. Sit a little bit deeper and then stand all the way up. Bring that right foot down to the ground. Peel the left heel up off the ground. Find your balance. Float the right knee up. Turn the right knee out, place the left, sorry, float the left knee up. Left knee, turn the left knee out, place the left ankle on your right knee and sit down into a figure four. Reach your arms out, think about lengthening your spine so you don't wanna round over, you want your heart open. Shift the weight back ever so slightly into your right heel, drop your hips. Bring your hand to heart center. And then release that out, widen your feet to hip distance and give yourself a little shake, a little knocking on heaven's door. All right, come to the front of your mat, stand up nice and tall. Inhale, bring your arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, fold forward, bend your knees so you can fold forward deeply. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands and step or float back to plank. Your choice of your vinyasa, knees, chest, chin, chaturanga, skip it. And we'll all meet in downward facing dog. 
Put your right leg up behind you, draw your right knee to your nose, and then extend your right leg back up behind you. Draw your right knee into your nose and extend your leg back up. This time, draw your knee in, hover here for a moment, and then slide your right foot up between your hands. Lower your left knee, left heel down, cartwheel yourself up into warrior two. Bending your right knee. Reach your arms up overhead and then exhale, melt back down. Reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, melt back down. Reach your arms up and exhale down. Turn your right palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Reach those right fingertips back in the air in the space behind you. Breathe here, sitting a little bit deeper. Flow all the way through to side angle. Right arm on right leg, left arm by left ear. Drop your right hip. Come back up to warrior two. Turn yourself forward, coming into high lunge. Breathe here. Exhale your hands down, step back to plank, go through your version of your vinyasa, and we'll meet in downward facing dog. Float your left leg up behind you, draw your left knee into your chest. Float your left leg up behind you, draw your left knee maybe towards your nose. Float your left leg up behind you, one more time, left leg up. This time draw the knee towards the nose, hover here, and then step the left foot up between your hands. Drop your right heel down, cartwheel yourself up into warrior two. Breathe here, lift on up, straighten your front leg, exhale, melt back down. Lift on up. Exhale, melt back down. Lift on up and melt down. Turn your left palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Big side stretch. Reach those fingertips up into the air. And then bring your left forearm all the way to your left thigh. Reach your right arm up and over. Dropping your right hip. Come back to warrior two. Turn yourself to the front of your mat, coming into high lunge. And then bring your fingertips down, step back to plank. Go through your version of your vinyasa, knees, chest, chin, and we will meet in downward facing dog. Breathe here. Maybe you pedal it out a little bit. Right, left, left, right. Put your right leg up behind you. Draw your right knee to your right elbow. Put your right leg back up behind you. Right knee to right elbow. Leg up behind you. Right knee to right elbow. Extend behind you. This time draw the right knee through center and slide that right foot up between your hands. Turn your left heel down, cartwheel on up, warrior two. Bend your arms into cactus. As you straighten your front leg, draw your arms in front of your chest. Open them back into cactus. Draw them in. Open them back up. Last time, draw them in. Open up. Extend your arms away from you. Turn your right palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Breathe here. Come all the way through to side angle. Drop your right hip down. Get a little bit deeper. Come back to warrior two. Turn yourself to high lunge facing the front of your mat. Reach your arms forward as you hinge and shift your weight into your right foot, coming into warrior three. 
Arms behind you or on blocks or out to the side. Arms in front of you is the most challenging. Keep the left knee pointing down to the ground. And now we're gonna step the left foot by the right coming into our chair pose. From this chair pose, we're gonna peel our heels up and come down into a squat, if that's available. If it's not, go ahead, everybody forward fold. Deep forward fold. Plant your hands, step back to plank. Go through your version of your vinyasa. Knees, chest, chin, chaturanga. And we'll all meet in downward facing dog. Other side, breathe here. Put the left leg up behind you, left knee to left elbow. Left leg up behind you, left knee to left elbow. Left leg up behind you, left knee to left elbow. Left leg up behind you, and now draw the knee through center, sliding the left foot up between your hands. Drop your right foot down, cartwheel yourself on up, warrior two. Bend your arms. Straighten your leg, bring your arms to the center. Open back into cactus. Straighten and close your arms. Bend your leg and open. Straighten and close. Bend and open. Extend your arms away from each other. Turn your left palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Come all the way through to side angle. Reaching from your fingertips to your toes. Come back to warrior two. Turn to the front of your mat, reaching your arms up in high lunge. Start to hinge your torso forward, shifting your weight onto your left foot as you come into your warrior three. Find your balance here. And then bring your right foot by your left foot, sitting down into chair. Stay here in chair or try experimenting with a toe stand where you lift your heels and lower yourself all the way down. Breathing here. Whether you're in chair or toe stand, go ahead and forward fold. Plant your hands, step back to plank. Go through your version of your vinyasa and we'll meet in downward facing dog. And breathe. Check in with your down dog. Make sure your hands are shoulder distance apart. Your feet are hip distance apart. And you're lifting your hips up behind you. Put your right leg up behind you, this time right knee to left elbow. Right leg up behind you. Right knee to left elbow. Right leg up behind you. Last one, right knee to left elbow. Right leg up behind you. Draw the right knee all the way forward, step up between your hands. Turn your left heel down, cartwheel on up, warrior two. Straighten your front leg, bend your front leg. Keep your arms out this time. Straighten, find the energy in your arms, feel them drawing away from each other. And come into your warrior two. Turn your right palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. This time take your left hand around, placing it on your right hip. Bending back a little bit deeper. Straighten your right leg and reach your right arm as far forward as you can, then hinge down. Bringing your right hand to your right shin, coming into triangle. Press into your right foot, squeeze your right glute, turn your left hip open. One more breath here. Rebend your right knee, come into warrior two. 
Bend your right arm, place your right arm on your right thigh, extend your left arm coming into side angle. Breathe here. Press down with that right heel, come back to warrior two. Turn yourself to the front of the mat, coming into high lunge. From here, we're gonna shift our torso weight forward, coming into warrior three. All right, you can go back to chair pose, or if you want, stand on up, coming all the way through into your figure four. So we warmed up in our figure four at the beginning of class. And now you have an opportunity to come back here. Little balance. And now bend your feet, hands forward, step your left foot by your right foot. Plant your hands, step back to plank and go through your version of your vinyasa, knees, chest, chin or chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, and breathe. <sighs> Put your left leg up behind you, draw your left knee towards your right elbow. Extend your left leg up. Left knee to right elbow. Extend your left leg up. Left knee to right elbow. Extend your leg up. Step your left foot all the way forward. Turn your right heel down, cartwheel up into warrior two. Reach those arms away from you. Straighten your front leg. Bend your front leg. Straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. Turn your left palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Take your right hand behind your back, bring it to your left hip. Straighten your left leg, keep reaching up and back. And now reach your left arm all the way forward to the front of your mat. Once you've reaching as far as you can, then bring your left hand down to the floor or a block or your shin. Turn your hips open. Open your heart, gaze up at the ceiling if that's available. Rebend your left knee, coming back into warrior two. Bend the left arm, place it on the left thigh, reach the right arm up and over. Long side stretch. Come back to warrior two. Turn into high lunge at the front of your mat. And now shift your weight forward, coming into warrior three. From this warrior three, you can step your right foot down and come into chair pose, or you can draw your right knee towards your chest and then come into figure four. Or you could do neither and just sit down. Take one more breath here, drop your hips. And then place your right foot by your left, fold forward, plant your hands, step back to plank. Take your last vinyasa. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. Breathe here in down dog. <clears throat> Put your right leg up behind you. Let's move into pigeon, drawing your right knee by your right wrist, slide your left leg back. So we did a lot of figure four, which is versions of pigeon. And now go ahead and come down to your forearm and come all the way down, head on the floor, or on a block or a pillow, something to release and release your head. And breathe here. Extend the leg a little bit further behind you. Hmm. 
Couple more breaths. And then come back up onto your forearms. Roll your weight back into your right hip and come on up seated, left leg extended, right foot coming in towards the inner left thigh. Reach your arms out into a T and then turn your torso towards your big toe, reach towards your big toe coming into a forward fold. Roll yourself on up, reach your arms back out into a T, up overhead, and then hinge straight forward. From here, walk to the right, making your way back into tabletop, maybe back into downward facing dog. Float your left leg up behind you, draw your left knee towards your left wrist, slide your right leg back, coming into pigeon on the other side. Coming all the way down. Bring your forehead down to the mat or a pillow or a block. And then come on up, roll onto your left hip, extending your right leg away from you, drawing your left foot into your right thigh. Reach your arms out and then turn your torso towards your big toe, reach your hands towards your big toe, let your head come down into a deep forward fold. Mm. Roll on up, reach your arms out, bring them in front of you and walk your hands out away from your body. And then go ahead and come on up, slide both feet onto the mat, reach your arms past you and slow roll down for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slide your feet in so that your heels are underneath your knees. Your feet should be about hip distance apart. Place your arms down by your side, palms down to the floor. And then roll up one vertebra at a time, articulating your spine up into a bridge pose. Hold here. If you want, you can interlace your hands behind your back, shimmy your shoulders together, and stay here. Think about lifting your hips higher. Maybe you lift your heels up off the floor if you want a slightly deeper back bend or a different feeling to this pose. And then release your hands, roll yourself down one vertebra at a time. Extend your left leg away from you, draw your right knee into your chest. And then using your left hand to guide your right knee over to the left side, open the right arm up and gaze over at your right fingertips, coming into a recline twist. Let your right leg get heavy.
And then roll back to center, exchange knees, left knee in, right knee out. Hold on to the outer edge of your right foot. Draw your right leg over, left leg, sorry. Left leg over to the right, extend your left arm and gaze over your left shoulders. And come back onto your back. Take a few breaths here to do anything that you might still want to work through. Maybe some knee circles, maybe a happy baby, maybe a plow pose. Or if you're ready, go ahead and extend one leg and then the other. Let your arms extend away from you, moving into your Shavasana. Once you're in your Shavasana, let your body start to get heavy. Slow down and deepen your breath. Taking a moment to be aware of how you feel, how your body feels. And then taking all of that knowledge and energy and drawing it into the center right above your belly button, drawing it all in deep inside of you and holding it there. As you draw it in and hold it, you're tensing and gripping every part of your body, your fingers, your arms, your legs, your toes. And as you exhale, slowly let all of that energy roll out from your center across your torso, out into your arms and your legs, traveling away from your body to your toes and your fingertips. Feel the weight. Slow your breathing down. Maybe close your eyes and move into your Shavasana. You can remain here in the Shavasana, or if you're ready, extend your arms away from you. Take a big stretch and slowly roll onto one side and gently press yourself on up to seated. Place one hand over your heart, one hand over your belly. Feel the life moving around inside of you. Acknowledge that. Thank yourself for taking this time to move your body and nurture yourself. Thank you for allowing me to lead you through this practice. Namaste.